So I went on by far the worst date of my life on Tuesday. I doubt any of you guys can top it. It almost made me halt doing it for the plot, but I'm not going to quit that easy. Match with this chick on Bumble last weekend, right? And we start talking. She's super cool. She's like, do you want to go out to eat? I'm like, that's my favorite thing to do. She's like, I heard this Chinese restaurant is really good. I'm like, I've been there. It is really good. Let's meet up. I get there, right? And she's cool, but I can tell she's skittish because before we even got our food, she went outside twice to hit her pen. And I was like, she said something kind of peculiar. She goes, disclaimer, I really don't even like Chinese food. I'm like, oh, why did you want to meet up here? And she goes, well, I'm a people pleaser and I didn't want you to feel uncomfortable eating something you didn't like. And I was like, we can go somewhere else if you don't like this food. She goes, it's okay, I'm used to mirroring people. I go, red flag. Anyway, so we continue talking, it's casual, and then our food gets there. So I go to the bathroom to wash my hands and I left my phone sitting on the table, not thinking anything of it. Get back to the table, I go to unlock my phone to take a photo of the food as one does because the teriyaki chicken and miso soup looked absolutely beautiful and my phone was disabled. Not just for one minute, but for five, which means someone tried my passcode and then after it was disabled for a minute, tried it again after. So I am a tad bit sketched out at this point, but I was like, maybe it was a fluke, so I just let it go. She asked me a very odd question. She said, do you think women will get drafted into World War III and do you think they should have to go if so? I was like, um, conspiracy theorist, this is weird now. Honestly, I had no idea how to respond. And then I finished my food. She didn't even touch hers. And she's like, can I use your phone for a second? I have to call my sister. I'm like, sure. So she goes outside, allegedly calls her sister, comes back in after like a minute and goes, so do you want to go back to your place now or what do we do? I'm like, what? I responded with, I'm kind of tired. I might just head home and call it. She was infuriated. She's like, whatever. I have another date after this anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to go. I'm like, it's like, whatever, weirdo. So she walks out. I put cash on the table to pay for the tab and then I leave. Here's the absolute kicker that I don't know if you guys are ready for. I get home, I take a shower, trying to forget about that terrible date, and then I get a missed call from the restaurant we just ate at. They informed me that I walked out on my tab, didn't pay it, didn't tip. I'm like, I left cash on the table. They're like, can you come back in tomorrow? I'm like, sure. Well, I go in the next day and I'm like, I swear to God, I left cash on the table right there. And they're like, well, we have security cameras. Do you want to watch them? I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. She went into Sally's Beauty right next door. I left. She came back in and took the money off the table. Not only that, but they have her on camera trying to unlock my phone while I'm in the bathroom and then putting it underneath her legs like that. Straight to jail. She needs to be arrested and it's absolutely disgusting. I went to the doctor right away because I was like, why did she put my phone underneath her butt? I talk on that thing like this. I am currently freaking out because I'm waiting for my doctor to call me back. But does this eye look a little red to you? If this bitch actually farted into my phone and gave me pink eye, I will go mentally insane. Anyway, her name is Melanie, so watch out for her because she will steal your money and then fart in your phone. One of the worst experiences of my life, I may take a sabbatical from going on internet dates because what the actual shit. Wow, I cannot believe I actually just told the entire internet that, but I might have to go as Captain Hook for Halloween weekend and wear an eye patch. So, 